Hey guys, this is Isis Priestess. So I know it's been three weeks since I've done a video and I'm sorry about that. Um, I used to do videos all the time and it's like, ugh. I'm kind of torn between my time on Hecate Witch and here. But um, I do promise, I do promise to post more often. So in this video, this is going to kind of be the same as I talked about on Hecate Witch because it's something that I believe needs to be addressed on this channel. And before I start, if you guys are kind of wondering why I'm wearing a beanie, it's because it's cold in my room. <laughs> um, our heater, the main heater, the one that you flip on and it heats the whole, whole house up, it's not energy efficient by a long shot, so it kind of raises our gas electric bill to the point where, yeah. <laughs> Um, we are really trying hard not to, uh, raise the, you know, the gas electric bill. Oh, I, I'm having brain farts left and right. <laughs> okay, so, uh, before I begin, I want to say this. I hope everybody had a wonderful, um, Maybon. I hope everyone had a wonderful new moon, full moon, whatever. Hope you guys had a great, 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 um, month last month. And so... It's October and it's Halloween and it is cold and it's crisp and it makes me want summer back. <laughs> All right. So um, we're going to talk about LED candles in this video and this is kind of a thrifty tip for those people out there that are dirt poor like I am. Okay, so um, one of the things that I discover is that in some circles LED candles are not really popular and the reason for that is you will have people that believe that you have to have candles burning you have to have incense burning all this that would be great if you lived in a ideal world but um, yeah if you do live in a world where you can do that without burning the house down good for you uh, no, I'm not saying if you don't. I'm not saying that you'll burn the house down if you burn candles. I'm just saying that um, that the impression I get from a lot of people who who do not like LED candles is that um, burning real candles is the only acceptable thing to do. Yeah. So. A couple of years back, when I was up in Massachusetts, um, there was actually, um, I actually started a discussion about using LED candles for Hestia's Flame. And immediately people got on there and said that LED candles are not real candles and therefore you cannot use them in ritual. This really gets my goat and there's a couple things. First of all, I don't like people telling me that my idea is stupid, basically. Um, when that happens, I get really pissed off, pardon my French. The reason for, the reason why I really like LED candles is first and foremost, you don't have to worry about burning the house down. Um, you don't have to worry about any of that stuff. You just turn them on and you keep them on and all that. In fact, my altar, my shrine actually has an LED candle inside that white votive burner, votive holder. And I think it's about ready to go out. I'm not sure. I'm going to probably end up having to buy a new battery for it. But really the only thing that you have to really pay for after you buy the LED candle is the battery. And um, a lot of times, um, a lot of times you don't you don't have to worry about the battery for a couple of months. The thing that I don't like with people who are against LED candles is that they are basically limiting themselves. Um, another reason why I had brought that up on that forum was because it was hot. And I was really, really not looking forward to flicking the, you know, flipping the lighter and lighting candles and adding more heat to the room. 
And so I had decided to buy LED candles, mainly because Mom's not really a big fan of me burning candles. Uh, she would like me not to do that. So I don't do that. I try not to do as much as I possibly can. But um, if you're if you if you're if you are in a bind, if you don't have a lot of money, you can buy LED candles. These were a dollar over Dollar Tree. Everything at Dollar Tree is a dollar. Um, I was going to go back and I was going to get a couple more, but I totally forgot to. So, what um, I'm going to actually be doing probably in the next couple of days is go back and buy at least one or two more packs. I have enough money on my debit card to, you know, to pay for it. But um, my advice to people, if you come across Ingrid people that tell you that LED lights are not real candles, I'll remind them that a lot of the can LED candles that are out in the market are actually made with real wax. So in essence, they are considered a real candle. But LED candles are a safe alternative to burning candles. They are really great if you don't have a lot of money. And really the only thing that you have to cough up for, and I, I'm, I know I mentioned this, was the um, battery. So, uh, but yeah, I mean, on my shrine, I've got two LED um, taper candles. There's, it's actually a one unit. Um, which is great because I don't have to worry about knocking over the candle and burning the house down. So yeah. So I'm going to end it there. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. I hope that it has um, helped. And uh, yeah. I, so I'll see you guys in a little bit. I'll be talking about images. And um, yeah. So I'll see you guys in a little bit. Bye.